So why are we seeing an increase of allergies and asthma among children today? So many factors come into play when talking about why we're seeing such a dramatic increase in allergies and asthma today in kids. But recent research has really points to a disruption in the gut microbiome as playing a significant role. So historically, babies received a good gut bacteria called B. infantis during the birthing process. And unfortunately, in nine out of 10 babies, this transfer no longer occurs due to things like antibiotic use and C-sections. And so most babies aren't getting this important good gut bacteria that really colonizes and protects their microbiome from overgrowth of a bad gut bacteria. And when you have overgrowth of bad gut bacteria, that's what's linked to this increase in asthma and allergies you know, that we're seeing in more and more kids today. Okay, so how can we make sure that our babies have this beneficial gut bacteria? So in addition to breastfeeding and good nutrition, you can actually supplement this good gut bacteria now. It's called B. infantis, and um, it's from Evivo. And it's just a little powder that you can mix with breast milk and feed your baby every day from day one. And we have good data that shows that feeding your baby Avivo every day can decrease the overgrowth of bad gut bacteria by 80%. I mean, this is really amazing. I wish we knew this when my kids were little. Yeah. So besides um, the probiotic, what else can we do to keep our babies healthy as they grow? So, you know, nowadays we all live such a busy lifestyle. So I like to remind parents to, you know, take a step back and really just spend time with your baby. Get down on the ground and play with them. Make sure you're reading books to them every day and talking and singing to them and taking them outside to enjoy the fresh air. And of course, it's really important to make sure you see your pediatrician for regular checkups. That's how we can really determine that your baby is growing well and is healthy and developing properly. Okay. How about food? What food would you recommend that I give my baby or toddler to promote a healthy gut? So when you start solids, you want to make sure that you're feeding a lot of high fiber foods. This is what really is important for that good gut bacteria. It helps feed that bacteria, which you want. So that way you can have more good gut bacteria and less overgrowth of bad gut bacteria. So we're talking about a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables, whole grains, beans, and legumes. And this is really important for your child's digestion and also to keep them healthy as they get older. Okay, is there like a number, a certain amount of fiber that they need to get every day? You know, that's, that's a really good question. And, you know, I really, I talk to parents about not really counting grams of fiber because it's sort of hard to know when you're eating real whole food, you know, how much fiber is in an apple or is in a bowl of blueberries. So you just want to make sure that at every meal you're having a high fiber food. So that can be a fruit or vegetable, beans, legumes, or whole grains. And as long as your whole family is eating this regularly with three meals a day and two snacks, you're going to be getting enough fiber for your gut and to feed this good gut bacteria. Okay. And then um, what about older children who already have allergy and asthma symptoms? Is there anything that we can do to make it better? You know, that's a great question and something that you should definitely talk to your pediatrician or allergist about. You know, there's a lot of new research in this area, but we know that good nutrition and exposure to a lot of things in everyday life, you know, can often help with asthma and allergies. But the most important thing is really just controlling those symptoms and making sure that your child doesn't have an accidental exposure to whatever it is that they're allergic to, or that if they have mm -hmm. asthma, they're staying away from their triggers and they're taking their medication on a regular basis to help prevent like serious breathing problems or other inflammation. I mean, unfortunately, right now we don't have that cure, but we're working working on it. So stay in close contact with your doctor and just make sure that your child is living a healthy lifestyle. And that's really the best thing you can do for older kids. Thank you. And then where can we go for more information? For more information, please visit avivo.com. And there's a lot of good info on there on how you can help maximize your infant's gut microbiome and help feed them B. infantis, the good gut bacteria, early on in life to help protect them and ensure that they grow up to be healthy. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for having me. I really me. appreciate it.